Hello everyone, my name is Juan Camacho. I'm a dietetic intern from Kaiser University. Welcome to Color Sweet. Um, as we all know, vegetables are an important part of our diet. Um, so today we're going to prepare a breakfast item. Um, the first recipe that we're going to prepare today, it's going to be egg scrambled eggs um, with a pita of bread. Um, we're gonna incorporate some vegetables and we're gonna walk through the process. Okay, so first of all, we're going to um, chop a little bit of the red onion. Uh, just gonna, you know, take a little chunk from it, and we're just gonna dice it very finely. The good thing about this recipe is that you can incorporate um, any vegetables that you like. Really, uh, it doesn't really have to be the the vegetables that um, I'm preparing today. Um, you can put a spin on it to whatever you like. Eliminate things that you don't like and so on and so forth. So once my onion is, is finely chopped, um, we're just gonna go ahead and put it here to the side. Um, next, we're going to um, chop a little bit of the um, orange uh, bell pepper. Now, bell peppers are a very good source of uh, vitamins, such as vitamin C and vitamin E. Um, they do have a lot of antioxidant properties um, and they're delicious and as a bonus tips they don't add a lot of calories um, so we're just gonna go ahead and chop this uh, bell pepper finely as you can see you know just like a rough chop um, Just so you know, I put this pan on a kind of like a medium to high um, heat. What we're going to do first is we're gonna heat up the pita bread. Um, you can, you know, put it in the in the toaster if you want. I have a couple of uh, mushrooms in here that I'm gonna roughly chop. Um, all the ingredients. From this recipe will be given to you. Um, this recipe is roughly 250 calories so it's a good way to start breakfast. So right now I have my onions, my green peppers and my mushrooms. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of the green pepper as well for some color and some texture of course. Once I have all my vegetables, you know, chopped very nice and fine, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat up one of the pita breads. Um, these pita breads are um, roughly 60 calories. Um, it has a very good source of carbohydrates because they're a whole wheat. Uh, they're made with whole wheat flour. Um, it has nine grams of carbohydrates as suppose of a regular piece of bread, which is about 15 grams. So I'm just gonna like, you know, briefly heat this up. Um, what I have here is uh, some chopped ham um, that I'm going to incorporate into the recipe as well. I previously chopped it. Um, you can, you know, add any meat that you want on it. it doesn't necessarily have to be ham. Um, you can add like a sausage link, maybe like a turkey bacon. If you just want this to be a vegetarian dish, you can just leave it with pure vegetables. Um, so that's the great thing about this recipe. Um, I'm a student myself, so I'm always on the go, I'm really busy. So what I usually do with this recipe is that I put everything together in a simple bag the night before. The eggs, everything that comes in this recipe. So in the morning, I put my pan really you know, nice and hot and then just cook it. So, you know, there's a really great way of saving time in the morning. Okay. Now that my pita bread is nice and hot, I'm just gonna set it here on this plate. Um, we're gonna add um, roughly about a tablespoon, um, a half a tablespoon of um, extra virgin olive oil. Um, again, this can be also done with uh, margarine, butter, whatever you would like. It doesn't necessarily have to be the extra virgin olive oil. However, um, extra virgin olive oil has really good properties, good source of uh, 
healthy fats. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly saute my onions with my vegetables and my meat. Here on the vegetables, we can get them nice and colored. So while this is cooking, um, we're going to uh, dice a little bit of the tomato. This is going to be added at the end with um, our avocado and our green onions for some crunch. So we're just gonna go ahead and dice a little bit of the tomato. This is what's going to be um, added on top of our um, eggs. You can also incorporate the tomato in the eggs right away. However, I find that uh, personally, I don't really like my tomatoes to be cooked. Um, I sort of kind of like them raw at the end um, on this recipe specifically. But again, you can always put everything together in a Ziploc bag the night before and be done with it the night before, okay? So once my vegetables are nice and cooked, we're going to um, scramble a couple eggs. Um, this recipe um, calls for one egg, but again, you can always, you know, add more than one egg at a time. Um, it's really up to you guys, but you know, if you're trying to keep it, um, you know, calorie efficient, you can just add one egg. Or um, if you're trying to get a little bit more protein, you can always have um, two eggs. And so it's our excellent source of protein. Um, now, let's say that you want to just incorporate protein without adding too much of the cholesterol that comes from the yolk, um, you can always use. Um, egg whites <clears throat> as opposed to the regular eggs. Okay, so once I have this going, I'm going to just give this a nice swirl. Okay, um, you might <clears throat> see that you might need a little bit more oil um, in the sides, and uh, that is just so the egg doesn't stick to the pan. Um, so um, right now I'm cooking it at uh, fairly high heat, um, but now I'm just gonna turn the heat down to a medium, and I'm just gonna leave that um, to cook in here. Um, on this recipe, uh, you can add any seasonings you want. I personally find that the ham that I buy it's quite salty already, so uh, I try not to put any other any more salt on it. Um, that is just again preferences. Um, you can add any seasonings that you want on your eggs, okay? So once the eggs is cooking, we're just gonna go ahead and um, cut our avocado. Now avocado um, is a great source of uh, healthy fats. Um, it has really good antioxidant properties, um, as well as, you know, minerals and vitamins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice, slice sliver, um, nothing too crazy. This is going to be added. Um, at the end of our uh, cooking process um, to the pita bread. So this is only like um, probably a third of or like a third of a cup. Okay, once my eggs are nice and cooked, I'm just gonna flip them. Okay, so here is where you can add your cheese. Um, I'm, I'm using a low fat um, sharp cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you want, honestly. It does not have to be um, any specific cheese. You can, you, you can omit the cheese if you want, you know, but I find that cheese is delicious and why not, right? Uh, we're waking up in the morning, we're hungry, um, we probably want to wait to work, we want to make sure that we have energy. Um, so right here we're having all the micronutrients that we need, right? So now that, we, that my egg is cooked, 
um, all the way through. I want to um, assemble my dish. So I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to, sorry, my dog just barked. I'm sure you guys have uh, family around and dogs and <laughs> kids, so I apologize about that. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and add our egg to our pita bread. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to add the tomatoes with uh, the spring onions that we chopped right on top. And lastly, we're going to add our avocado. Okay, look at that. That looks very good though. Um, you can uh, use it as a wrap, you can eat it as such. Okay, and then here, what I have, it's a side of fruit um, that is going to be accompanying this dish. Um, right, I, what I have here is a nice strawberries, blueberries, and uh, some apple. I mean, I'm sorry, some banana. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this in here. This is about one serving, uh, which is roughly a half a cup. And there you have it, guys. We have a nice breakfast to start the morning, full with vitamins, minerals, good sources of protein, good sources of fat, a lot of antioxidants, and it's a great way to start the morning, try to get our energy going for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see here, it's very colorful. You can always change the vegetables, as I said before. Instead of having the avocado, you can put some spinach. You can omit all the vegetables and just do it with spinach, or you can put all the vegetables that you want on it. Your fruit, again, you can have many um, of the delicious fruit that is out there. Um, so yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, let's eat some vegetables. <laughs>